Hello everyone, so it is time for my June empties. I've waited a little bit too long to film this, I think, but uh, here I am today. First I'll start out with the makeup empties, then I'll move on to skincare and then hair care and then some random ones at the end. So if you want to see the products that I've finished up since my last empties video, then just keep watching. First I have this lip balm from CoverGirl. Completely use that up. This comes in those uh, liquid lipstick double set kind of thing. So this is supposed to go over the top of the liquid lipstick, but I just finished up the lip balm. Then I have this sample from Mecca Cosmetica. This is the Fresh Face Hydrating Primer. Pretty sure I got this in a beauty loop box and it was absolutely fine. Um, I don't think I would buy it again, but it was all right. I finished up another little sample I got from Mecca. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The wand um, is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And that bump at the end I found just kind of held a lot of product and it made my lashes look pretty clumpy pretty soon. So I didn't like that very much and even though it's like a cult favorite I definitely won't be purchasing it. I finished up another mascara. This is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Extra Black and on the other hand I really really loved this mascara. It gives a lot of volume and a lot of length and I really really liked it. If only L'Oreal mascaras did not cost an arm and a leg here. I got this little sample pot from Mecca as well. This is the Stila Aqua Glow Foundation in the shade Fair. I finished that up. It was just a little sample pot. I did actually quite like this foundation and I would consider purchasing it. Another sample. This one also from Mecca from a Beauty Loop box. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. And it was just a little sample size. As you can see, it was in a project and I have finished it up. I liked it, but there's just so much fuss around loose powders that I probably won't buy this again, especially because I think it's about $70. Not entirely sure, but it's a very expensive product, so I won't be purchasing it. The last two makeup products are lip products. The first is the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in Waimea completely finished up. There was a tiny little nub and then it broke and fell out on the ground, so I called that done. And this was the CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Bomb in the shade Coral Twist. Pretty sure you can't purchase this in Australia anymore, but I did really like the color and I finished up those. On to skincare. So we've got two basics. We've got the Swispers makeup pads. I finished up two packets of those. Finished up two sheet masks. The first was the Tony Moly I'm Real Seaweeds Mask Sheet Skin Purifying. Tony Moly is really cheap here in Australia, so that was all right. And I finished up the Innisfree Skin Clinic Mask BHA. I like the Innisfree Skin Clinic masks. They're a little bit more expensive and a little bit harder working than the regular skin masks, um, but it was all right, yeah, I used it up. I finished a soap from the Body Shop. This was the Body Shop Strawberry Soap. It smells really good. The strawberry scent from Body Shop is really nice. I finished a sample of the Nivea Creme. This is a little 10 mil kind of tin and I finished that up. It was fine, but it's just like paraffin oil lotion, so I won't be purchasing that. I finished a La Roche-Posay Redermic R.I cream serum gel kind of thing. It's a retinol eye treatment and I finished that one up. It was fine. I don't think I need retinol and I don't think I really need an eye cream so I used it up but I won't be buying it again. I finished this product which is a little bit weird but a little bit necessary as well. It's the NADS Ingrow Solution with aloe vera and chamomile. So basically it's supposed to um, get rid of or prevent razor burn and ingrown hairs. So I used to use it all over my legs and now it's it's completely gone. I finished the simple kind to skin micellar cleansing water. I think this was fine. It was pretty good for a drugstore product, but I probably won't be purchasing it again. I also finished up the Caudalie makeup removing cleansing oil. This was all right as well. I hated the scent of it. It just smelled really old. And also I think it irritated the skin around my eyes. So if I used it as my only makeup remover on my eyes, it would really, really dry up and irritate the skin around my eyes. So I won't be repurchasing it for that reason. I've got two cleansers. The first is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Dermo Cleanser. I finished that one up. It's a very simple cleanser that I just used in the shower. It's pretty good. 
I also finished up the Avene Extremely Gentle Cleanser. Also a very simple cleanser. This one I didn't think did anything, so I won't be buying that one again. And my last two skincare products are the Maybelline Makeup Remover for Eye and Lip. This is just the tiny little cheap one that you can find in their makeup section. I buy it every once in a while just because it's cheap and easy and it works pretty well. And this morning I finally finished up the La Roche Posay and Thelios XL Ultra Light Fluid. This is a 50 plus sunscreen that I've been using on my face for a few months now and I finally finished it up. I would buy it again but at the moment I'm currently using a different facial sunscreen. I've got two hair care products. The first is the Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Style Conditioning Mousse. I purchased this from Mecca Cosmetica. It was pretty expensive but I thought it was okay. I just don't think I'll buy it again because it was so expensive. I've also got my tried and true Pantene Pro V Leave On Cream. I buy this all the time whenever I can find it at Woolies. It's very, very silicone-y, but I've been using it for many, many years and it does exactly what I want it to do on my hair. So, finished up another one of those. Then I have two Lush products. The first is the Blackberry Bath Bomb. This is the big purpley blue kind of bath bomb they have. It's all right. I, I never think that it smells like blackberry. I don't know what it smells like, but it was fine. And the Phoenix Rising Bath Bomb. This is the one with the gold luster in it and it looks really pretty in the bath but I'm not a huge fan of the scent. I think it's a very um, deep scent and I wanted something a bit more fruity for my baths. And lastly I've got some samples. So the first one is the Josie Moran Pure Argan Milk Intense Hydrating Treatment. I actually quite liked that but I think it's pretty expensive for what it is. I've got the Alchemy Lavender and Enthylis leave-in conditioner. I've got uh, about 12 sample sachets of this from work, so you'll be seeing a lot more of these in my next empties. This is the Kate Somerville uh, Anti-Aging Cytosel Dark Circle Corrective Eye Cream. This was fine, but I don't think I need it. This is the Pericone MD Refirm Surface Recovery Treatment. I actually really liked this, but it's Dr. Pericone, which is kind of expensive, but I did really like it, so I'd look into getting this again. And the Kate Somerville Sensitive Skin Nourish Hydrogel Mask. Absolutely fine. Not a huge fan of Kate Somerville products, but it was fine. A La Roche Posay Tolerain um, Moisturizer Sample. Absolutely fine. Would consider purchasing it again. And a perfume sample. This is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I really, really like this scent and I would purchase that. And there you go. Those are all the products that I finished since my last empties. Quite a few as you can see. If you do empty these videos, I'd love to come and watch them. Please let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.